Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making a baby cocoon. This baby cocoon is worked with a number 6 bulky weight yarn and the recommended hook size of 9 millimeters. This yarn is the hometown yarn from Lion Brand and I used three skeins to work this baby cocoon. To get started with this we are going to make a magic circle. And if you need to see how to do this or anything else in this video, there will be links for those videos in the description box below. If you like this video and channel, please give this a like and subscribe and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. Also in the description box, you can find the link to my Etsy and there you can find the written pattern for this pattern as well as other art that I make and sell such as t-shirts, stencils, paintings, jewelry, and more. So please check that out. And lastly, if you'd like to keep up with what I'm up to outside of videos, you can follow me on Instagram at the craft nut, and you can also tag me there with the things that you make for my patterns because I'd love to see your guys' work too. When you have your magic circle made, we will then start with a chain of two. And this chain of two does not count as a stitch. And then we are going to work 12 double crochets around the magic circle. So again, work 12 double crochets around the magic circle. When you have 12 double crochets around the magic circle, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet. And that is the end of round one. And you should have 12 double crochets. And we can now pull the magic circle closed. For the second round, we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to work two double crochets into this same first stitch. So we're going to work two double crochets in the same first stitch, and then work two double crochets in the next stitch, and two double crochets in each stitch all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round, we will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of the round. And that is the end of round two. And at the end of this round, you should have 24 double crochets. For round three, we are going to start with the chain of two, which does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work a double crochet into the same first stitch. And then we're going to work two double crochets in the next stitch. And this is the pattern we are going to work all the way around this round. So in the next stitch, we will work one double crochet. And the next, we will work two double crochets. And again, that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Again, by working one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochets in the next. And repeat that all the way around this round. When you've made it all the way around that round, you should have two double crochets in the last stitch. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of the round. And this was the end of round three. And at the end of this round, you should have 32 double crochets and your work should be trying to bowl up a little bit which is fine because it will be folded in half. For round four we are going to start with a chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we're going to work one double crochet in the same first stitch and then we're going to work one double crochet in the next stitch and then we will work two double crochets in the next. Then we are going to work one double crochet in the next two stitches. And work two double crochets in the next. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. 
begin by working one double crochet in the next two stitches and two double crochets in the next and do that all the way around this round when you've made it all the way around that round round four you will then slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of the round and at the end of this round you should have 48 double crochets and again that was the end of round four at this point you will want to measure the circumference of your circle you will want your circles circumference to be 19 to 21 inches and that is a general size for babies around of course if you are able to have the measurements for the baby that you are making it for whether that be your baby or somebody else's that is ideal and then you can measure this and make it according to those measurements and you want it to be just slightly bigger than the baby of course so that it is not squeezing them but again 19 to 21 inches is a general measurement my circle is 22 inches around and that is fine if you wanted to go down in hook size to make it more of a perfect size and that is fine going down in hook size would make this just a little bit smaller but you may need to work more rows and of course that will just change the size of things a little bit it is up to you though and of course it is okay to have it a little bigger than the baby so that it is not squeezing them and leaves them a little bit of room to kick around or for their clothes and things so for round five we are going to chain two which does not count as a stitch and we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch and we are going to double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into each stitch all the way around this round and when you've made it all the way around you will slip stitch into the top of the beginning double crochet of the round and you should have 48 double crochets at the end of this round and again this was round five and when you finish round five you'll want to continue doing this exact same thing until you have finished with round 22. so again you'll want to go on to work one double crochet in each stitch all the way around this round round five and continue doing this until you have finished with round 22. also if you have changed hook sizes you may need to work more rounds to make your baby cocoon long enough but again you can measure your baby and see how long you need your cocoon to be but again another good general measurement for that is about 18 to 22 inches also so you want your baby cocoon to be about 18 to 22 inches depending on the baby and that gives you a little bit of room to fold it over or not depending on exactly how long you make it so I actually went on to work my baby cocoon to be 24 rounds all the way down and that makes my cocoon about 19 inches long and that was a good halfway medium point in my opinion so I left it there and again that was 24 rounds for me but you'll want it to be between 18 and 22 inches long depending on the baby and when you have worked your baby cocoon to be the length that you like it you will then finish it off and weave in your ends and that's all there is to it and that's all there is to it so I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you if it was please hit that sub like and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think i hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things and until next time guys i'll see you